We're starting a new chapter, um, looking at chapter nine, um, which is going to look at nuclear chemistry and medical imaging. And that nuclear should remind you of last chapter, where we talked in chapter two about the nucleus. Um, and in chapter two, we also mentioned that there were um, some nuclei that were unstable or radioactive that give off energy. And that's going to be what we see applications of in chapter nine. Also, just to connect this back to chapter one, um, remember atoms are matter, they are pure substances, and we're looking at elements. So still in chapter nine, we're gonna be focusing on just individual elements. Um, and then from now, from after nine, we'll be talking about compounds, but we're still just looking at matter that's pure and is elements. And we are gonna be focusing on these unstable nuclei at the center of an atom. So I'm gonna um, start by just writing a couple of color references down here at the bottom for you, things we've used before, but we'll see these throughout um, the chapter. So we will continue to use orange to say um, that we've got high energy. And that's gonna be enough energy to um, strip electrons off of atoms, um, give you something to see. Um, we will also continue to use purple for our unstable or synonym for that is radioactive um, nuclei. nuclei. And then we will also continue to use green um, for our atomic numbers. And remember the atomic number is the number of protons. So same colors from last chapter, um, we will continue to use this chapter. So just to give you a quick little flowchart of how things fit together here, um, we are going to be looking at medical imaging kind of broadly in this chapter. And there's two big categories of how we can do medical imaging. Um, one is to use low energy radiation. And we'll talk more about radiation through this chapter. Um, but we want to use low energy radiation. Um, that would be huge long waves, like a radio wave. Um, and the most common um, procedure for using this low energy radiation <clears throat> is MRIs. MRIs use radio waves. So you are not going to have anything to worry about in terms of radiation accumulation or side effects if you have an MRI because you're basically just using the same waves that are broadcasting out of um, a radio tower. Now, our focus is going to be on a different group of um, imaging types, and that's going to be um, using high energy radiation. So we can use low energy radiation or we can use high energy radiation. Separate words. Um, sorry, I wrote that a little bit unclearly. So high energy radiation um, is going to have lots of energy, right? Like our orange color there. And within that, we're going to see two different um, groups of um, imaging procedures. Um, so one will be x-rays. And x-rays are high energy, a form of high energy radiation that are used both um, for x-ray imaging, a quick look at like a broken bone or something. And then also you can use a whole series of x-rays um, in a CAT scan. So both CAT scans and x-ray images both use x-rays, and those are high energy. <clears throat> We're going to spend the bulk of our time talking about another type of high energy radiation, and that is found in the nuclear imaging department <clears throat> at a hospital or an outpatient um, setting. And this would be procedures like a PET scan um, or a bone scan or one we saw last chapter, which was a thyroid scan. Um, those sorts of things, all right? So those are examples of nuclear imaging. Again, has high energy. And the way that we wanna describe this nuclear imaging is it has to do with the nucleus, right? So we have unstable nuclei um, that emit energy or emit radiation, so emit energy. And we call these radio isotopes. And so these unstable nuclei, radio isotopes, they're the same exact thing, and these are going to be emitting radiation. All right. Um, 
some of these and all of the x-rays are going to give you wavelengths that are very, very short, actually much shorter than that. But long wavelengths, low energy, short wavelengths, high energy is a trend that you want to um, start to have in your brain. All right. So that's how our pieces are going to fit together. Um, we will be looking at high energy radiation, sometimes coming from a nucleus and sometimes just coming from an x-ray bulb um, and using those to do some imaging.